Hello guys, we are back with a, another one, another Disney Princess Challenge episode or part video, whatever you want to call it. Obviously, our goal is to get this going. I did do a little research like I said I was going to do, and basically we're going to try a few things out. I know someone I saw basically recommend, well, they said what worked for them is lowering the prices of our services to only like 75%, which I don't really care about the money. I mean, obviously, it's nice to have money, but it's not really that big of a deal, I feel like, just because, you know, we already have the castle, which I say we shouldn't have to pay for because they're like the head of the whole country or whatever, you know? So I really don't care about money-wise. It'd be nice to have some more money just so we can um, pass that on to Aurora, but it's not that big of a deal to me, at least. Um, So that was the one thing. Another thing that was suggested was literally doing one patient at a time. So one patient checks in, then you disallow any new customers, take care of that patient, and then go like one by one. So we could try that. I would rather not do that, but honestly, we might have to do that. Maybe just like allow like one or two people to come in and then stop allowing patients, take care of those patients, and then like just do a whole process like that. I might try that, especially since you know, Sydney and Luna sometimes are a detriment. So I might just try doing it that way. We'll just see. We're going to just test some things out. And I'm definitely going to just keep the prince there too, to help clean up. I remembered too, that the prince has the two little, he got the two little vacuum thingies. So I think I'm going to try and put those in like different places in the vet. So like they will help hopefully clean up as well as the prince helping clean up. So then we won't have to really worry about that either but that's basically my goals for that um it is literally eight o'clock and i have been talking instead of paying attention to this she is not hungry she just needs to like wash up a little bit i'm gonna let her do that and he also needs to just like wash up a little bit too and he's cleaning the toilet instead um just go to the bathroom sir <laughs> i mean it's great that you're cleaning i'm not really fully complaining about that but it would, you, it would be much more beneficial if you like got a roll on things you know we don't have all day here and i'm just gonna have him do like a quick little shower instead of doing the bath because we don't have time for that he honestly might not get a chance to finish the shower because I am going to probably go ahead and go because it's already like almost 9 30. So he'll get as clean as he can and we're gonna go and try some of these little tricks out and see if that will help us any. Okay so we'll go ahead and open manage. We'll put this to 75. We don't we don't need I'm just not gonna do any advertising so I honestly don't know if that's really gonna help us any and hopefully since that costs money we'll just save a little money there. We have the premium treatment. So hopefully that helps. I know Sydney's all maxed out, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to obviously mark them so they don't treat any of the patients. But I'm also going to go ahead and give Luna more training as well. So we can just go ahead and, you know, do that. But responsibilities, don't treat patients. Okay, she keeps on moving. Okay, and then she doesn't seem very happy, but we are going to pay for some more standard training. Sydney, he's all trained out, honestly. We will probably, if anything, just give him a promotion, but I really don't want to give him a promotion now since we're going to be doing all the work. So we'll just do that for him. Okay. And actually, before we start the day, I'm going to go ahead and get these vacuums out. We'll put this one right here in the corner. Realizing now, these are just the docks, so we might have to buy our own vacuums. Okay. But that's fine. We'll just do that. I don't care. Well, these are kind of pointless then. If it's not even gonna do that, we'll just get money from these and then spend money. That is like the most useless gift that Father Winter could ever give anyone. He just gave us the dock for the vacuums and he can't even buy them separately. Okay, so we have two little robot vacuums. Hopefully that will help us out with keeping them clean. I don't know if we have to turn them on or anything. Start cleaning routine. She's checking in. I might actually have them since they're not really doing anything. I'm gonna have them just do like some on the streets or something. I guess she's cleaning, that's fine. Just allow new patients the customers. Well, there's already two. I honestly don't know which one came first. <laughs> we'll go ahead and soothe the pet a little bit and do those three interactions and hopefully we can get a diagnosis from that. We're gonna try and be as quick and efficient as possible. I don't think that was very helpful because we lost a half a star. I don't know what to do guys. 
I honestly feel like this is literally impossible. Ooh, calm the dog down. Nothing. I got four back. This is, I don't know if it's possible to get five. My goodness. They come in so quickly. Okay, so this person thinks our fight looks nice. That's a positive. I keep on accidentally, accidentally letting more than once in and out of time. Where's your pet? Before we examine you, let's say you're good, pet. Not that I think it even helps. Oh, we got an immediate diagnosis. It's like impossible. I don't know what else to do. Because we have high quality of service. I don't know what they're talking about. Quality of service needs to grow. And I don't know what else to put in this stupid place for the homicons. You know what we can maybe do? Give back. Oh, what's that? Give back. We can't give them back the 10,000 because we don't have that much money. But give back like five. Oh my gosh. I'm Give back like... 5,000, not 50,000. And then I can try and add in like the most like expensive like decor stuff from the pack and see if that helps any. We'll just throw, well, let's focus on like the most expensive ones first. It's gonna look awful in my personal opinion, but maybe it will help. Well, I guess I shouldn't focus on the most expensive. I should just focus on like the highest environment. Okay, we can add. If you really want a fireplace, we can add a fireplace. Let's just... I don't think this couch really helps us. No one ever sits there, so we'll just add that. It's actually blocking this picture. I want them to be able to see the picture. I don't know what to put... Okay, we'll put the picture over here. See, I feel like our my vet looked so nice, but apparently, according to these sims, it wasn't good enough. So now it's going to look ugly because I'm just desperate at this point, and I just need to put junk in here in order to get it to satisfy. Anything else look that high? I'm like looking for like sevens and eights and up. I don't want any of the ones or anything like that. This is an eight, but it's huge. So like if I size this down as much as possible and then like put it on top of this, it looks so stupid, but maybe they'll like it. Oh, that was so expensive. Anything else? I already have the highest environment painting. I genuinely don't think there's anything else with like higher environment. I guess I could put like all these little plants everywhere. Again, it looks horrendous, but if this is what the people want, I'm just giving them what they want, clearly. I'm not even changing the swatches for these, I'm just adding them in. Oh gosh, this is huge. Break it down a little bit and like put it over here. I'm just putting stuff randomly, I don't even care at this point. Okay, so that's all of the decor things. We spent over $5,000 or close to it. So hopefully that is going to satisfy them. Okay, I'm just gonna close for today because it is our child's birthday. I might try to just off camera, just work it so I can try and figure out how to get this last star. Cause I don't want you guys to have to just watch me do the same thing over and over and over again when it's um not really beneficial to you and i need to not that my employees are really doing anything for me but i think i need to um give them promotions too because they are not satisfied with their job so we're gonna go home bake a cake for our daughter and have a little birthday celebration maybe invite some of the siblings over i would think about doing like a proper birthday party but she's only going to be a toddler and as a toddler and an infant there's not much that they really will be able to do as far as like a birthday party anyways so we'll just save that for when she's like a kid or something sage you know we're gonna invite you over to our house very soon so you can party it up with us and all of our siblings later so we're gonna have cinderella make her a cake her colors are pink, so we should probably try and make a strawberry cake for her if I can find it. Oh, I think I just passed it. Make a nice cute little strawberry cake. You know, it's beneficial for her that she has a mother that can actually cook very well. Are you actually gonna feed your child this time? Or are you just gonna hold her? Oh, you're actually feeding her! Look at that. You're learning, sir. This has been sitting on the floor for like two days. It only has 23 minutes left, so that makes sense. I'm just gonna invite our siblings over instead of having like a whole party. Because, like I said, there's not much you can do with an infant anyways, and I don't really want to have to deal with a party situation. So, that's not what I want to do. That is also not what I want to do. There we go. Okay, so we will invite all of the white siblings. We'll leave out the step siblings this time. And I have to remember, there's only six of- well, 
I forgot about the mysterious children. Maybe we should try and figure that out too. I'm missing one because this is only four of our siblings and we have five. Unless another one of our siblings unfortunately passed away. And I obviously... Oh, we're missing Darius. That's who we're missing. There we are. Oh, our relationship. We used to be really close to Darius. And now we're not. <laughs> we need to fix that. Axawa. So while I'm thinking about it, I want to figure out who these kids are. So we have Dominic Florian and Mason Florian. So I want to see if we can do a little cheat and summon them or transport them to our lot and figure out what and where they came from. Mason is easier because I kind of already forgot how to spell. I think that's how I spell Florian, how you spell Florian. I, but I do not remember how they spelled Dominic. Let's click on this kid and see what nonsense this is. Yeah. Okay, my question is, is how did this happen? And he is a homeless child. That's probably why I could not find him for the life of me. Oh my gosh, what is up with this? Okay, so first and foremost, let's introduce ourselves to our mysterious, probably... I, like, I have no idea how this happened. I think the ghost had to have had a child, but like at the same time, Shmeza how did they have a child? Because they're ghosts, and I don't think ghosts can have kids in Sims 4. Unless I'm mistaken. I might be mistaken, but... Now let's figure out how to say, or not say, but spell your other brother's name. I'll try to remember that, but my memory is so terrible. Okay, let's try and summon him. And... Okay, so this is Dominic. Let's do an introduction to him. Okay, Dominic disappeared. <laughs> and Bruno is starving. Please feed Bruno. And let's try and get Dominic back here. I don't personally want to adopt this child, but I feel like one of the siblings should adopt this child. So I might go into another sibling's household and have them adopt these children to, or at least have the children not be homeless. Because I'm assuming that Dominic is also probably homeless. And you know who's to blame? Snow and the prince. Because why did they have another child is the question. Let's see, before he disappears. Okay, no, Cinderella. Before he disappears, to talk with him. Are you going to talk to him, ma'am? Oh, is he leaving? No? Okay. That's good. But he's just going in her fridge. That's fine. Okay, we're going to go ahead and bring little Aurora down so she can blow out her candles. She is asleep. We're going to have to wake her up. Okay, but it looks like he's there. At least Mason is going ahead and talking to the other children. And they're the only ones with Prince Florian's last name. I don't know where Dominic went. I think Dominic may have disappeared again. Okay, but back to the main focus. It's a little Aurora's birthday! And she's definitely getting spit all over that cake, but, you know, it's her birthday, so she can do whatever she wants with her cake. We're just gonna randomize her trait. Which independent sim? We love it! I did not read about her toddler trait. She also aged up with some crazy hair. Oh, he's top-notch infant! Yes! We love to see a positive infant trait. So everyone can dig into the cake. Okay, so while they're eating cake, I'm gonna go ahead and give little Aurora her little makeover. Okay, this is little Aurora. I kept her blonde, and when I was first doing the initial, like, check to see kind of her vibes and like what she's supposed to look like. It did say that she's supposed to have like long blonde hair. So I feel like we want to like just make sure that we're keeping the hair long. So I just went with this hair right here. Um, I didn't really change too much as far as her skin details. Um, it's pretty much the same. And I gave her like some of the things. I gave her like two different options. Not that we're probably gonna see it, but I was just vibing until I went a little overboard, I guess, with some of her outfits. But I think it's really cute. And I think she looks cute. So that's little Aurora. And we will get right back into the game. Yeah, right. I want Snow to rebuild her relationship with her siblings. They're so close, so I want them to all- Because, like, with her sisters, they're all, like, almost completely full, but then- Okay, yeah, it's just Darius that she apparently- Maybe it's because we did ignore some of his calls, and maybe he took that personal. It's just we're busy. So spicy. Cinderella likes argumentative sims. I don't think that's true. I don't think she has- if. 
her brother is being argumentative. I don't think she has a problem with that. But I don't think that she's like, oh yeah, I want to hang out with argumentative sins. So I'm going to say no. But I'm hoping that they can like rebuild their relationship a bit. And another thing that we actually have to do, since Aurora is now a big girl, we can convert this to a toddler bed. Unfortunately, the prince does not have a high enough handiness skill. Um, and I don't know, I don't know if I have... I'm gonna just buy it as a toddler bed, but I honestly, I didn't see it when, but I also wasn't so looking for it. So I'm gonna try and see if I can find the toddler bed conversion for this. Okay, I didn't see one. Um, let me see if Cinderella, because I know Cinderella, okay, let's see if Cinderella can convert it to a toddler bed, and she is being mean with her brother. That is probably part of the problem. Why are you being mean? Okay, at least they're friends now. Because honestly, we really don't have to do anything besides fix the bed. Let me go back. Yeah, because she already has all the basic necessities for the most part. We do need a potty, so I should go and add that in. We'll do this one. And honestly, I'm just going to put it right here. Anything else? I guess we can put down like some... I was going to say some toddler toys, but I kind of just forgot to thought I was speaking there. Okay, yeah, so like stuff like this. Is it a pink one? Yeah, so we'll put down a pink one here for her. We'll put down these. Nesting blocks. I think we already have that rattle actually in our inventory. Yeah, so we can put that rattle. I think that's for infants though. I don't know if toddlers can use it, so we'll put that rattle down there. And I think that's all we'll do for now. If need be, we'll add some more stuff, but I think that's good enough. Are you gonna fix this? So she's doing that. Hopefully that works. Um, I don't know why these two are outside. Makes no sense. Yeah, she's cold. Why do you have your child outside? I don't understand these sims majority of the time. <laughs> And our siblings are cooking. Oh, no. Who knows what? We fed you, so you really shouldn't need any more food, but whatever. Okay, so it looks like they're probably going to start leaving. Sage is leaving now, which is fine because it is literally midnight, so you guys should be leaving our home. Another thing that we need to probably try and do, I mean, it's not like a man- Okay, don't mess with our daughter's stuff, Darius. I know you're an angry man, but don't mess with our child's things. But we have like only three days left to complete our aspiration milestones, which they have the same aspiration, they're soulmates, so basically we just need to go on dates. Yeah, they both need to go on silver dates, so we can probably try and do that. Obviously not today, because it's, well, I guess later today, because it is already midnight, but we'll probably try and do that. Just have like a little date night. And I think it'll be good for them to like get out of the house, have a little date night together. Hopefully this works. Okay, I think it worked. Maybe not. I don't think it did. Okay, so this obviously cannot necessarily be used as a toddler bed, so we spent $50 for no reason, but that's okay. It did say supports infants, but I just thought I'd shoot a shot and see if it would work. Okay, so I found this bed. It's a collection called Fairylicious by Felix Andre and the Clutter Cat, I think it was. It was a little collab that they did. So I felt like this fit like the princessy vibe and... I could also get like the pink bedding so that's what i went with and i think it's still like i mean obviously the i think this is white this it has like a very yellow coloring in the house so it's kind of hard to tell so the bed frame and the changing table really don't match but you know it doesn't matter she is literally sleeping in the cat chair is he downstairs okay yeah so you can put your child to bed and hug lovingly put her to bed and then she's going to the bathroom and then i'm gonna just have them all go to sleep because it's late it's very late and so i will go and try to get this last star i'm gonna just go ahead and do it all on camera so you're not just constantly seeing the same thing and then i will come back and hopefully update you with having our final fifth star okay so um... I am back. I think literally, I believe four whole days in The Sims has passed. I think I stopped filming on Wednesday evening. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Actually, we're now into Monday. So five whole Sim days. As you can see, nothing. I've tried everything. Honestly, even when I did do research, a lot of people said that they got stuck. Some of them even got stuck at like three stars. I think it's just a glitch in the game. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and just make the executive decision to just go ahead and cheat the five stars because I honestly just genuinely don't think that there's any possible way to get to the five stars without cheating it. So I'm just gonna do that. Um, We've been losing a lot of money and Luna also threatened to leave because she was not satisfied with her job so we're just gonna go ahead mark up our prices 
we're going to allow Luna and Sydney to actually, uh, what's it called? Go Do stuff. <laughs> besides just sitting around doing nothing. We'll go ahead and allow new patients and just keep doing that. The prince was supposed to fix this, he clearly did not. And I don't know where Sydney is. Sydney is playing in a puddle. So we will also go ahead. Oh, and we're throwing mud at Sydney. Okay, that's so nice. Um, He will be allowed to treat patients now. Luna, obviously, as you can see, she aged up into an elder. Oh, and I'm sure you can see as well. We are missing a family member. Unfortunately, Bruno did pass literally like two days in and also in Aurora's bedroom. So Aurora will probably forever be scarred by that. But I didn't want to keep on just trying because literally, like I said, it's been several days and Aurora's birthday is going to literally be this weekend. So I didn't want to just keep on trying and trying and trying with like no success, obviously. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and also promote both of these guys. I kind of avoided promoting them during the time that I was trying to get the five stars just because I didn't want to lose even more money. But now since they're going to go ahead where we up the prices of our services, they're allowed to take and treat the patients now. Um, I'm going to pay for training for her. We can't, I really probably shouldn't do this because we don't really have that much money, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, just to try and get them so they're like more satisfied because she's still unsatisfied. He's kind of fine. He's just vibing, but she's not too happy. So they're both going to get a promotion. Hopefully that will make them happy. Okay. She's now unsatisfied. So I'm going to just try giving them some praise. Maybe that will help just up morale. Um, I did get the chance to unlock the well-managed trait. So we technically already have that. So the only thing really that we could probably do is add another vet, which I honestly don't really see the point of. I think we're just going to let the vet run itself honestly after this. Um, so we might add another vet eventually just to help out Sydney and Luna since they're going to be the main ones running the vet from here on out. Um, probably because I want to just go ahead and spend more time with Aurora, especially since she's going to be aging up in the next episode. I didn't want to just keep on wasting time trying to get this vet situation to work when it clearly isn't working and clearly the prince does not want to fix this vacuum. So I'm just going to have Cinderella do it. Um, the prince, you can just go home because you're kind of useless to us since you're not even doing what I'm asking you to. And it must be an issue with the vacuum where it's placed. So let's try that. Let's just hire someone then because clearly no one wants to fix this. Okay. Hopefully the person we hire fixes it because we really can't afford to just be replacing these. I mean, it's not that much money, but we also only have $400 to our name. Can we throw this away? Because they're going to complain about the trash. Thank you. And... Can you clean up that hair? Oh my gosh, the phone has been ringing. I'm trying to think of anything else that like major happened while I was away. Honestly, nothing major. Um, They are on their second or their last. I think it's their last. Let me just, whoops. Yeah, they're on their like last little section for their aspiration because I was able to manage to actually find time to get them to go on two dates so that they were able to complete their resolution and also um, complete that part of their aspiration. So we have to do, I think, three more dates and then they just have to interact with each other, which honestly, we could probably get this done by going on more dates. And honestly, we also don't actually need to get that done anyways. It's just something that I figured might as well do. But we should probably, I'm gonna disallow any more patients to come in because I have not been paying attention to this. And we're probably gonna have some disgruntled patients pretty soon. Cause Sydney is literally just sitting there. So that is not helpful and no one fixed this. So I guess we're just gonna have to replace it. And that did not, Okay, okay, that did work. I was literally going to like scream if that did not work, but it looks like it did. So I'm just gonna finish out this day and I'm hoping that we have enough money to pay them. I honestly don't know if we do. And we don't have that much money to our name in general anyways. Yeah, we were like doing really well before I tried to really try to get this five star situation. But you know, it's the Sims. Honestly, it's to be expected that of course, it's not working properly, and I'm also not paying attention to these patients either because I'm just sitting here talking instead of um, paying attention to, oh, paying attention to these poor patients. So let me take care of this cat. 
I think the other cats and animals and dogs are all taken care of too. Sydney's working on the last patient. So that is that. From now on, we're probably going to be more, obviously more focused on Aurora since we technically completed all of Cinderella's. I really didn't want to cheat. I feel really bad for cheating, but like they're, like I said, literally five days and absolutely nothing. I just don't think there's any way unless I was able to. I know they have like, I think a mod that makes dine out better and work better, but I don't know if there is one for, um, Cats and dogs, because I don't feel like a lot of people actually play with the vet situation with cats and dogs. So, and I honestly, a lot of the careers that you actually like do things yourself with The Sims, I feel like they're all just really glitchy. I know the what is it like the private investigator detective one is super, super glitchy. I think the only one that I feel like worked really well was, or at least decently, was the scientist career, but I feel like all the other ones are just like pointless and useless. Okay, so I think we are done. Sydney took care of that last patient, so we're gonna go close. So that's just the way things are gonna go from now on, because especially also because I've been so focused on the vet thing, Aurora has been pretty neglected, so like I said, we're just gonna focus pretty much all of our attention on Aurora, on Aurora just to get her going and kind of get a good start for her for her generation. Because I'm just double checking all the things that we need to do for Cinderella just to make sure that I'm not forgetting anything. The main things, obviously, um, I'm probably going to have them add in another pet because we do need to have two pets at all times. And I didn't want to add in a pet after Bruno died just because I didn't want to do that off camera. In addition to the pets, um, I know Aurora, mainly her character kind of like is friends with her little fairy godmothers, fairies, I don't know what they are specifically, but I don't know of any specific animal that's associated with her because I figured if we are going to get another animal, if Aurora has any sort of animal that is associated with her, we should probably do that. But I'm not sure, and I didn't like bother to do any research or anything because I was too focused on the vet situation to try and figure that out. I will be completely honest and I will say, especially the early Disney princess movies, they were just not my favorite. As a kid, I did like Cinderella, but especially as an adult, I'm like, well, I've watched it back and I'm like, why did I like this as a kid? <laughs> I just think that a lot of the older ones are a little boring to me. So that being said, I just don't know much about Aurora's story really at all, but I think I will go ahead and like just do a little bit of research to kind of figure out exactly what, if there is a pet associated with Aurora, what we should get. And if we, if there isn't a pet associated with Aurora, I think we should probably just do a cat because for one, I felt really bad about Bruno because we were definitely neglecting Bruno and I still obviously feel very bad about Major because... We've definitely been neglecting Major. So I feel like a cat is a little bit more self-sustaining. And so hopefully that will be better. So if Aurora doesn't have any sort of animal associated with her, we're just going to get like a cute little cat for her to grow up with and leave it at that. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead after giving you all that long, hefty update. I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here, guys. Thank you so much if you actually watch this chaotic, crazy mess of an episode. Thank you so much. And I hope that next time could be a lot better. And I will see you then. And just cross our fingers and it all goes well. Bye, guys.